All right. Question 32 A and B is asking if a chemical is stable or not. If it's stable, it's going to stay the same. It won't react. If it's not, it means there's a spontaneous reaction, redox, and it's going to change. It's going to break down. So you go grab that jar of the chemical and you think you've got what you want, but it's actually changed to something else. So A has a lot going on. It has the H plus from the fact it's acid. It has SN2 plus. But SN2 plus won't just be on the right as a reducing agent. It's going to be on the left as an oxidizing agent. We get the chloride from here, and of course we have water on both sides. Now we go hunting, coming down the left and going up the right, and we hit these two beasties, the H plus and the SN2 plus. If you look carefully, this is the reaction that would like to happen, but in fact the arrow should go the other way. It should be pointing that way. This is non-spontaneous, a negative E naught, and when you run into non-spontaneous, that means the chemical is stable. We do the same thing for B, copper one nitrate. Not quite as much going on here, but still a bit. So as usual, we have solution, so water is on both sides. Copper one plus, interestingly, is on the both sides, just like the SN2 plus. It can reduce down to a charge of zero, or can oxidize to a charge of plus two. Then we have nitrate, and nitrate's usually a spectator ion unless it says acidified nitrate if we had H plus around, but we don't. So, strangely, these are the two things that are going to react. We're going to oxidize Cu plus and we're going to reduce Cu plus. Here's the reduction. There it is behaving as an oxidizing agent, and here it is being oxidized. So it is indeed two different reactions. Here is the overall reaction. And this overall reaction is called disproportionation. It means half of the Cu1 plus get reduced down to Cu0, and half of the Cu plus get oxidized up to Cu2 plus. Now we have to look at the position, and we find that Cu plus as an oxidizing agent is above Cu plus as a reducing agent. So this, in fact, is spontaneous, and therefore it's not stable. So if you have a solution of this sitting around, it's going to break down into copper metal and copper 2 plus ions. So that's 32, a lot going on. Hopefully that made sense.